So you've tried to download an app on Windows 10 or 11 and you've got this message. The app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. What do you do? If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, you've downloaded an app on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine and you've got this message come up on the screen saying the app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. Installing apps from the store helps to protect your PC and keep it running smoothly. So you've got two options here, get apps from the store. Now, what you could do is you could click on get apps from the store and see if the app that you're trying to install is available on the app store. The app I'm trying to download and install is VLC Media Player. So let's just have a look. I'm going to click on that and let's just see what comes up. So the app store will then load. And let's just go up to search apps, games, movies and more. And I'm just going to search for VLC. And in actual fact, yes, it is available on the App Store. So I can click on install and there it will install. But what if it's not available on the App Store? What do you do then? Well, we can go to change my app recommendation settings. Just click on that. And this will take us to the apps and features page. Now this might look slightly different if you're running Windows 10, but the principles are the same. You just go to the very top here and choose where to get apps. And at the moment, mine is set to the Microsoft Store only recommended. Now this means I can't download or I can download, but I can't install any apps that come from outside the Microsoft Store. Microsoft are saying that it's safest to only download apps from the Microsoft Store onto Windows 10 and Windows 11 because these apps have been checked by Microsoft for both quality, malware and viruses. So therefore it's safer to download stuff from the Microsoft Store if you can. But if the app you're trying to download or trying to install isn't available on the App Store, then you've got no choice. You're going to have to click on this drop down here and just select anywhere just up there. Close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and then try and open the file again that you were trying to download. So I'm just going to do this this time. OK, the screen's dark and it said, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure the name of the program appears there and the publisher of the program appears there and then click yes. And then just follow the wizard on the screen to install or upgrade your app. Let that go through. And then obviously, once the app is installed, it would probably be sensible to put the settings back so that if you tried to download or anyone else on the computer tried to download anything that was outside of the Microsoft Store, it's going to stop them. So let's just click finish on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this down. Let's close it all down. Click on the start button. And then I'm going to go into settings and then I'm going to go into apps and I'm going to go into apps and features. And then right at the top where it's got choose where to get apps, I'm going to put that back to the recommended setting. That's the Microsoft Store only recommended. So let's click that. And that will mean that the computer is set to only allow the installation of apps from the Microsoft Store, which should keep your computer safer and running more reliable. So there you go. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. 
then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.